We want to send a clear message to these Republicans in South Armagh. The victims are coming after you. Uh, we are going to make sure that you are brought to justice. No matter how many dirty deals you have done with the British government or the Irish government, uh, forget about it. Because the people within the community are sick and tired of you scum running about intimidating the northern people. Uh, He's also put a device in, in the Remembrance Service in Newry on Sunday. Uh, the police tried to play that down and say, oh, it was only fireworks. It was a bomb. It had a detonator, it had a timer, uh, and it was meant to either seriously injure or kill people. You can't get away from that. Unfortunately, people are trying to play these things down, to play the murder down, to play the intimidation down, to play the, the attempted murders down, and these bombs going off, policemen being shot, you know, what more do we need to be happening before people sit up and say, well, hang on, we were promised this wasn't going to happen. We were promised this would not be the case. Now, we're the ones that have to live with this, especially in the South Lama area. We're saying to the security forces and to the government, we want justice and we want it now. We want the Slab Murphys locked up and locked up permanent, not just a show of him being arrested in the south and taken for two to three million euro. Uh, that's chicken feed. Which pocket is that going to come out of? Now we intend to go after Murphy uh, to push the government to make sure that that man is held accountable for the atrocities that's been carried out in South Hama, along with his lieutenants, along with John Gerard Hughes, along with the Patrick and Peter Quinns, along with the McVerries, the Valleys, the, uh, the Kiarhers, Along with all them people, we intend to name and shame every one of them. We intend to confront them at every opportunity we have. And if they think this is an idle threat, well, just sit back and watch. Because gone are the days where people are afraid to speak up against us. Uh, we are going to take the fight for justice to your doorstep. No longer are we going to leave it in the hands of the British government. Because the government don't want the terrorists. They don't want the main smugglers who are connected to terrorists. They only want to get their hands on people who has been smuggling but have no paramilitary connections because they don't want to upset the IRA. Well, we're going to upset the IRA. We're going to show what is actually going on in this country. And there's a lot of people who sold us out. A lot of people have betrayed because the IRA aren't killing a number of us every week. It's supposed to be okay. Well, it's not. We have the right to live free from fear and intimidation. We have the right to live free from uh, sectarian scum threatening us daily uh, with intimidation, murder. Uh, what they're going to do to us, going to burn us in our homes, they're going to um, shoot us, they're going to do everything you can think of. This is what we continue to get through at us while people who live in parts of Northern Ireland where there is no Republicans think Evans is okay. Well, it's not okay. The security forces, when that device went off in Newry the other day, not every individual panicked, but a lot of security forces didn't even know what to do because they'd never heard or seen the situation where a terrorist device had exploded. I mean, that's the sort of police force we have today. Uh, this is the new modern police force. Now I'm not condemning the individuals, but uh, obviously the leadership of the PSNA are now politically uh, motivated and not uh, actually interested in justice and how to influence the rule of law and order. Um, we want law and order back into this area. And we will name and shame these boys from now on. No more are we going to sit back and let these scum get away with what they can get away with. And the so-called loyalists out there who betray themselves as speaking for the loyalist community. I don't know what loyalist community they're speaking for. Because any loyalist that I know certainly do not support drug dealers, do not support people killing people from their own community or any other community either. Uh, loyalist is not a dirty word. Being a loyalist is actually uh, something to be proud of because for too long it's been used and abused by certain people. 
uh, to harm the Protestant community. Well, that also needs to change. Too many good loyalists have died. And when I say loyalists, I'm talking about people who served in the security forces. We are not ashamed to be called a loyalist, unlike some of these so-called paramilitaries, which at the end of the day, I guess there is boys in it who are genuine and who join for the right reasons, that they think, uh, but who have run away from it. It's now being controlled by drug dealers. Uh, and while they're fighting between each other, they are uh, rebuilding, rearming, reorganising and retraining the next generation. But this time we are sitting back and letting it go unnoticed.